Well, we're here at the launch of the uh, Asus ROG Ally, and I'm with Matt Carr. Welcome to the program. Thanks, Alex. How are you? Good. Now, you're with the head of uh, sales for consumer APJ at uh, AMD. Yes. And uh, tell us what you're holding in your hand right there. Well, this is the, uh, the brand new ASUS ROG Ally, which is the first true x86 mobile device that we're going to be bringing to market with our Z1 processors. Now, uh, you've been, uh, well, Asus rather, has been working on this for the past five years. So what can you tell us about AMD's involvement in bringing this to market? Well, obviously, we've been working on the Zencore architecture for many, many years, and the, the efficiencies and the uh, performance of that architecture lends itself to this sort of device. And as we keep that generational improvement going along, uh, that continual cadence year after year of improvement uh, in the performance and efficiency of this product, I would suggest we've been working with them a long time. Uh, in terms of on the product specifically, who knows? Uh, but they've obviously come to us for a particular reason. Sure. Now you've got both the uh, Z1 and the Z1 Extreme. So yeah. what's the difference between those two processors? Well, the Z1 Extreme will hit the market first. Twelve hundred ninety-nine dollars here in Australia, fourteen ninety-nine uh, in New Zealand. Uh, the Extreme will be an eight-core, sixteen-thread processor, plenty of cache, built on our new four nanometer Zen architecture with our current RDNA graphics as well. So current tech. The uh, the Z1 will be slightly lower, six core. 12 threads, so slightly lower in performance, that'll be in the market a little bit later on. So what difference will the everyday gamer notice between the, the Z1 and the Z1 Extreme? And I'm presuming the Z1 will be sort of even more uh, affordable for everyday consumers and the Z1 Extreme will be for like for the power consumer. Yeah, absolutely. So like, like any gaming device, the higher the core count, the higher the thread count, the more case you have, the better that ultimate gaming performance is going to be. The Z1 processor will come on the standard uh, a little bit later on, a little bit down specs, save a little bit of money. But yeah. I think obviously if you want that ultimate performance, which is why the Extreme is coming to market first. Yeah. Now, what special things did AMD have to do to bring the Z1 to life? And how does it differ from the traditional ultra premium notebook processor that AMD is also very well known for? Well, effectively it's built off our latest 7040 series Phoenix processors. So to bring this particular product to market, not a lot. It's using our current 4 nanometer architecture, like I mentioned before, which is the current bleeding edge tech that we have in a mobile or premium device, using our latest RDNA 3 graphics. So from there, it was more just a matter of tweaking it to make sure we're hitting the power and performance efficiencies that people want on a truly mobile x86 device. Sure. Now, I know all the focus is rightly on the Asus ROG Ally, but where might we see the Z1 family appear next? Well, look, we've obviously developed a new family of processor for a particular reason. So I can't talk too specifically, watch this space. It's not the last you've seen. Oh. So any final messages to the viewers and the, and the readers? Look, I think ultimately if you want a companion device or a complementary device for your gaming, this is it. It is a true x86 processor. You are getting true x86 performance in a mobile device. It's exceptionally complementary to what you are gaming on now. It's the ultimate companion for you. Game wherever you like, wherever you like. Matt Carr, Head of Sales, APJ and Consumer for AMD. I think I mangled that, but thank you very much for <laughs> your time. It. Really Thanks appreciate us. it and look forward to seeing more from AMD in the months and years ahead. Fantastic. Great to catch up. Thank you.